Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the AMX 50 Foch uh, with a crew of four. Moving right over to its dimensions, as length of 7.35 meters, at least has the hull. Uh, its role was a tank destroyer, and the number built was uh, only one of these. Uh, the armaments include one 120mm gun and one 7.5mm MG. And an engine right here, you can see a Maybach and uh, has a total of 850 horsepower. Performance has a max speed of 13 kilometers per hour. But anyways guys, that's it for this and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool for here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the AMX-50 Foch. This is a uh, French tier 9 tank destroyer in the game World of Tanks. Uh, the tank actually was, there actually was one of these made, it wasn't just a uh, blueprint tank or anything like that. Uh, from the late 1940s to the early 1950s, France was develop, he developing heavy tank destroyers. Uh, the project was developed on the influence of German tank destroyers of World War II. And uh, the, the uh, AMX-50 Foc uh, featured a 120mm gun. At least one prototype was built, which took part in the military parade in Paris on July 14th, 1950, uh, but it never saw any mass production. Uh, so, from our knowledge, pretty much only one of these was ever built, and uh, it was just an attempt from the French to make heavy tank destroyers, but by that time, uh, you know, even tank destroyers were starting to get phased out as not completely necessary anymore, as uh, kind of like your main battle tank kind of started to emerge in the um, early stages of the Cold War. Um, so, this uh, tank right here, uh, pretty cool, pretty awesome tank. Uh, a little bit derpy if you ask me, but uh, definitely interesting to say the least. You can definitely see some German influences to the design as the uh, as of what I just read um, mentioned. Uh, so, as I mentioned, you got a 120mm gun. I believe there's actually a version of this that has a 155mm gun. So, that could be a possibility to do in the future. Uh, but this, is, this one right here is just equipped with a 120mm uh, main gun. Uh, you have the mantle right here, which was kind of a tricky part for me to do. Uh, I took a lot of messing around with to get something that I liked, and this is pretty much what I was able to come up with. Uh, it's not the perfect mantle, but it works for what I need it to uh, represent, so that's what we have right there. Uh, we have the uh, turret on the top here, which houses a uh, machine gun, probably for uh, anti-infantry purposes, to kind of protect the tank a little bit better. And then it's also got uh, this uh, probably range finders. I'm not 100% sure exactly what they were intended for but I would have to take a lot of my educated guess and say probably range finders or some kind of sights for the gun itself. Um, then coming back here you got some hatches, you got your vents, all that kind of stuff, some uh, cargo and stuff like that usually strapped on the top here, uh, radio antenna and uh, pretty much all that stuff and on the back here pretty awesome got some tools, the brake lights, the uh, exhaust for the tank everything that you pretty much would uh, need for it is all set up and ready to go uh, overall, it's a very basic tank. It's not like super heavily detailed in that sense, but it's pretty much fits for the tank itself. Um, it's not a very heavily detailed tank, and uh, I did decide to go ahead and do it in green. I was kind of debating on what I should do it in. I originally had a design for it in gray, which I completely revamped and made it into this one. Uh, but I kind of decided to go ahead and go with the green. I felt it looked a little bit better. Um, technically, the tank is more of kind of like a bluish color, uh, but I didn't really think it would look right with what I had to really work with so I just went ahead and decided to go with green of course you guys can change the color of color of it um, as much as you guys want to um, but anyways uh, this is a birthday request of vehicle so I want to go and wish a happy birthday to Amy McKay who requested this vehicle for their birthday I uh, hope you do enjoy it Amy and I'm glad that I could uh, get this vehicle out for you it's pretty easy I actually had the same pretty much designed and I just had to revamp it a little bit and uh, um, it actually uh, came up pretty decently so hopefully you do enjoy um, other than that, guys, that's kind of pretty much do it for this uh, overview for the tank, and we'll go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer here, we have layer 1. Now for layer 1, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking our nether brick half slabs, and we're just going to place down uh, 1 and 2, just like this across. We then want to place down 2 nether brick top slabs, coming off those 2 nether brick half slabs, so we get something that looks like that for the front tracks. This is going to be the left side of the track, so if you're building this in a certain area, you can kind of get an idea on um, you know the tracks and where they're going to be placed. Now if that finished we then want to take our green stain clay we're going to place down a row of two like this followed by a second or a row of two here of nether brick half slabs a row of two green stain clay and we're going to repeat this pattern a few more times so nether brick green stain clay nether brick green stain clay nether brick green stain clay nether brick then um, after this uh, these two nether brick half slabs here we're going to place down two nether brick top slabs 
Also, just to go ahead and make sure you guys are on the right page, um, we want to have five of these rows of two of green stained clay, made, representing five road wheels, all with spaces of never breaking between them. So you should get something that looks like this. That's what you guys want. Also, on the outsides here of these rows of two, we're just going to go ahead and take some stone buttons, and we're just going to go ahead and place down um, some stone buttons on the ends of the rows of two, just like that to pretty much go ahead and make them look a little bit more like road wheels. With that complete, we then want to go ahead and go up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to this first row of two green stained clay. We're going to place down three narrow brick top steps across from it. Go ahead and go into the back here. We're going to go ahead and go to this narrow brick, this row of two narrow brick top steps. We're going to place down a row three of narrow brick top steps coming off of it. Uh, or sorry, dark oak with top steps. Then we just want to take dark oak with top steps and fill in the space in between these uh, rows of three we've placed down on either side of the tank. And this is just going to go ahead and pretty much uh, create a nice big hull uh, or bottom of the hull for the tank and uh, everything like that. Going ahead and continuing on, once you get to this point here, we're going to copy the same design we did on the other side for the tracks over to here. So it's the same exact design. Uh, this tank is fairly symmetrical for the most part, so uh, very easy. Just go ahead and put this all in. Never break half sabs and never break top sabs. Just like that, and going all the way back. And then stone buns again on those green stinkly blocks to make them look a little bit more like road wheels. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer uh, one. And with that, we'll move on to layer two. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 2. Now for layer 2, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to these narrow brick top steps in the front here. We're going to place down two dark oak wood top steps on t or t two dark oak wood stairs on top of those uh, narrow brick top steps, just like that to go ahead and make the fenders uh, over the tracks. We're also going to place down a row of two of green stained clay behind those uh, dark oak wood stairs on either side, and then again a stone bun on the sides of those uh, rows of two. In the very center, in between the rows of two of green stained clay, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs to look something like that for the front armor. And then after you have that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak with uh, upside down stair, place down one like this. And then taking green stained clay, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten back, followed by a uh, narrow brick upside down stair like that. Once you guys have that done, we're going to take our green stained clay, go to the uh, block right here. So basically along the space above these uh, tracks, right alongside this row we just placed, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 green stained clay blocks back. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a nether brick stair, which we'll uh, just go ahead and swap out uh, for cobblestone wall for the moment. So a nether brick stair like this, and uh, then we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, dark oak wood fence gate, which will come off the nether brick stair like so. Now, in between uh, these blocks here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the, from this narrow brick stair, place down one, two, and three green stained clay blocks over. Cut off the green stained clay block on the ends here, uh, leaving the middle space em empty. We're going to place down a polished data site block, and we're going to grab ourselves some cobblestone walls and place down cobblestone walls coming off of those uh, polished data site blocks. In between the polished data site blocks, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, and then go ahead and go into the sides here. We're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves um, a narrow brick stair again. Place down one on top of this uh, narrow brick top slab, and again your dark oak wood fence gate right here alongside that polished andesite block. We then want to go ahead and just take our green um, stained clay blocks, go ahead and pretty much repeat the same design we did on the other side there. And um, once you guys have that all repeated and everything like that, um, you guys will be good to go for the main kind of design there for the structure. So just like that, and you should get something that kind of looks like this on both sides. Now when we get to this point right here, uh, for uh, detailing we're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves some signs and also um, some uh, item frames. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take signs and along the dark oak wood stair here, the green stained clay blocks, uh, pretty much all on the side here, we're just going to go and take signs and run it all the way along like so. So just going, to, going ahead and taking it back, all the way back to this to this point right here like that. Then uh, we're going to place down a uh, item frame right here on this sign. We're going to skip two signs, place down an item frame, skip two signs, item frame, skip two signs, and then an item frame on that uh, dark oak wood upside down stair. And we're just going to go and repeat the same process over here, and this is just trying to uh, give the uh, illusion that these uh, little kind of covers over the tracks stick out a little bit more than the actual hole. Um, that's at least what we're trying to convey here. It's uh, definitely not perfect, but it's uh, what we're trying to do. And then again, you're just going to take your uh, item frames and go ahead and put them all in just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer 2. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 3. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 3. Now for layer 3, we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, going up to the front here. We're going to place down uh, two dark oak wood stairs, just like this on your side. So on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair and the green stained clay block right next to it. 
We then want to go ahead and uh, take a dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a corner stair after this row two, going in toward the uh, inside like this. Same thing over here, just like that. In this space in between the two dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a green stain clay block, followed by a dark oak wood top side coming off of it, and then a wooden trap door. On the sides here, coming off these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down an iron frame with a glass block in it, not uh, on top of that stair. We're going to place it in the iron frame. And then uh, on the uh, same kind of space where the item frame is, we're going to place down a dark oakwood fence gate, and we're going to have it op or opened up so it looks like it connects up to the dark oakwood stairs, just like that to go ahead and make the front headlights. Uh, with that all finished, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Now when we get to this point here, we're just going to place down a green snake wave block on the other side. At this point here, it gets a little bit different. You can change it up a little bit depending on your sides. As you, get, you guys can see, I have these tracks mounted to the sides, and it's completely up to you guys if you guys want to add them or not. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it like I did for that one. Of course, you can put them in the same spot on both sides. You can have them uh, switched up or uh, kind of like what I did. Um, so it kind of breaks up the, sym the um, symmetry of the uh, vehicle. So again, it's up to you guys, but I'm going to just go ahead and do it exactly how I have for this one. So on this side over here, on the left side, we're going to place down one, two, three, and uh, four. Another brick full box going back. And coming off those another brick full box, we're going to place down a total of uh, four of these uh, dark oak fence gates, you want to open them all up just like that for the side there for uh, what's supposed to be spare tracks that would be strapped onto the side of the tank. With that finished, we're just going to take our green stain clay blocks, go back one, two, three, four, five, and six, all the way back to this uh, dark oak wood upside down stair. Now going ahead and going over here to this side, we're going to go ahead and take our green stain clay blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five back just like this. We then want to place down a uh, narrow brick full block, and then we're going to place down a total of three more. So you have four of these narrow brick full blocks, and then a green stain clay block on top of that dark oakwood stair. And then we're just going to go and take our dark oakwood fence gates, put them along the side the, uh, the uh, narrow brick uh, full blocks, and we're going to go ahead and have tracks like that. So you can see uh, a little bit, bit different on both sides. I think it does a good job of breaking up the uh, build a little bit. Completely up to you guys if you guys want to do that or not. Um, but again, I mean, it's up to you guys on what you guys want to do for that. Now, uh, once you have that done, we're going to take our green stain clay blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of five in between uh, these two green stain clay blocks to create a row of seven. And also, between this space right here, we're also going to place down a row of green stain clay just to go ahead and fill in that space all together. Now, in the back here, uh, we also have some detail we're going to be going ahead and doing. So, we're going to go ahead and go, and go into our inventory. We're going to grab ourselves some red stained glass. And we're just going to place down an item frame like this on either side. And... Uh, then uh, we just want to go ahead and put down a red stained glass block in the item frame, followed by a sign over the item frame. So you get something that looks like that for the brake lights. And then also another optional thing is to go ahead and add these uh, tools um, to the uh, vehicle, which I think looks uh, really nice. Um, looking at pictures and stuff like that of the version that's in uh, uh, World of Tanks and stuff like that, it has these tools strapped onto the back. So to kind of mimic that the best we can in Minecraft, we're going to place down an item frame like this on your side. We're going to have an axe in one of them. And we're going to go ahead and rotate it a few times so it's facing that direction. And over here, we're going to have a shovel. And we're going to flip that around a few times so it looks something like that. And uh, once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for this layer, um, layer 3. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer. Now, for layer uh, 4, we're going to be going ahead and starting off by going to the mantle up here of the, of the gun. You can see we kind of have a little bit of it already started. Now, on top of the green stain clay block, this dark liquid... Um, this dark oak with a uh, top side, we're going to place down two green stain with blocks. On top of this uh, uh, wooden trap door, we're going to place down a dark oak with half slab, and we're going to go ahead and go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight dark oak with half slabs come off of this dark oak with half slab right here. On this half slab right here that has the wooden trap door on the bottom of it, we're going to place down a sign on either side of it. Going ahead and going up here to the very tip of the gun, we're going to place down a zombie head on either side. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, two signs going back on those two dark oak wood half slabs right here. So just like that. Then on the bottom of these uh, half slabs, we're going to place down uh, two uh, wooden trap doors just like that to pretty much go ahead and, uh, you know, make uh, the very bottom of the muzzle break there and the barrel of the gun. Going back here to this position, uh, going ahead and going on top of these uh, corner stairs here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, cobble, mossy cobblestone wall just like that. We then want to go ahead and take our green stain clay blocks. We're going to place down a row of three behind those uh, mossy cobblestone walls and the green stain clay block, followed by a dark oakwood stair and then a corner stair coming off to the sides on both sides. So just like that. Then we just want to take our green stain clay blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten back. Same thing over here on this side. We're just going to run this all the way back like so. And then we're just going to place down a row 
a five that goes across in the space in between them, the rows, to go and make a row seven across the back like so. On the block back here, on the side of the on your side of this row seven, we're just going to place down a tripwire hook. We're also going to go ahead and go up here to our second green stink wave block back on this corner stair. We're also going to place down a tripwire hook coming off the sides there for a bit of detailing. Uh, from this tripwire hook that's on the back here, we're going to go ahead and skip one, two, and three spaces. We're going to place down an item frame, and we're going to grab ourselves a uh, snow block uh, right here. And we're just going to place down a snow block in the item frame like this, just to kind of show the uh, the um, French kind of symbol for their tanks that they would put on them and all that stuff. Uh, it's not perfect, there should be a little bit of blue in it, but it's the best they could really do for uh, Minecraft and what we have to work with. Now, on the back here, uh, very simply, we're going to go ahead and take our item frames and top the ones we put tools in. We're just going to go ahead and put down two more item frames. Uh, we can go ahead and grab ourselves, um, you know, an air shovel. And we can go ahead and grab ourselves maybe a pickaxe this time. You guys can mix, mix and match the tools as much as you guys want. Uh, but I'm going to put down a uh, pickaxe over here on this side. Rotate it so it's all facing the same direction. And then over here I'll put in our shovel or something like that. So you can set that looks like this on the back. Now once you guys have that done, uh, we need to go ahead and put some dark oak wood fence gates in. So for this, uh, we can just go ahead and kind of uh, place them down like this. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate like that. And same thing over here. Like so, so it's going to go up, and we're going to use that as just kind of a way to stack these fence gates. So you basically have two on the sides here like this, and we're going to have these opened up that are going to be over the tools. In the space in between those dark oak wood fence gates, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three, like this, and that's going to pretty much do it for the back there, and uh, everything we got going on there. Very simple stuff, um, but it looks pretty good. And uh, that guy's right there is going to do it for uh, layer uh, four, and with that we'll go ahead and we'll probably just move on to our last final layers here, uh, layers... Uh, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which we'll put the antenna on and all the top details to the vehicle. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. All right, guys. So we're on to our last final layers. Now, for these layers, we're going to be pretty much building the whole top portion here, the tank on or tank up, and then we're going to go ahead and pretty much put the antenna on. We'll pretty much be done and ready to go. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here. Now, you can see we have this uh, row of three green stain clay. On the left side, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, redstone comparator, just like that. And on the uh, right side, we're going to place down a uh, zombie head, which will be facing forward, just like that. And then we're just going to place down a stone button on this green stain clay block, right here in between the cobblestone walls. Once you have that done, um, after the zombie head and the redstone comparator, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak with half stabs that goes across from it. Once you have that done, we're gonna, on the right side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this, followed by a green stinkway block on the back of the stair. And then around this green stinkway block, we're just going to go ahead and surround it with dark oak wood stairs to create something that looks just like this. Now on top of that uh, green stinkway block right here, we're going to place down a stone button, and we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, end rods, and we're just going to place down one and two end rods coming off this dark oak wood stair for the uh, machine gun right here. Um, right next to this, these two dark oak wood stairs here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood half slab. And then right here in this space, I come off this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this. And then one, two, and three green stain clay blocks. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair coming off of this uh, row three of green stain clay out to the side that overhangs from the vehicle by one like that. Once you guys have uh, that all finished, we then want to go ahead and take our green stain clay block, or sorry, our green carpet. And we're just going to place down a row of five across the dark oak wood stairs and the green stain clay blocks. On the very center green stain clay block, we're going to place down a uh, green stain clay block like so. And uh, we actually want to go ahead and take dark oak wood stairs and actually go ahead and surround this um, green stain clay block like that. And we're also going to place down a stone button on top of that green stain clay block like so. Now coming off this dark oak wood stair here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood half slab. And then in between this dark oak wood stair and uh, this dark oak wood stair over here, we're going to place down a row four of uh, dark oak wood half slabs that goes across. And uh, when we get to this point here... Um, we actually want to go ahead and actually take some spruce wood half slabs and we're actually going to break three of these and we're just going to place down a row of three of spruce wood half slabs to show a hatch right here. So you should get something that looks like that. We're then going to place down a second row of three after that. Like so. Then we're going to place down a dark oak wood half slab on the inner side of that row of three. Now when you get back here to this section, um, you can go ahead and use um, some sandstone half slabs, uh, spruce sandstone blocks, whatever you pretty much uh, want to use for this. It's just meant to show that we have some extra kind of uh, cargo on the back here. Nothing too fancy. Uh, so for this, we're just going to place down a sandstone half slab, two smooth sandstone half slab, or full blocks, and then two sandstone half slabs. And then just add a little bit more detail, put a wooden pressure plate on one of the, the uh, sandstone, uh, smooth sandstone blocks, and then a sign on it. 
Again, just for a little bit more detail. Of course, you guys don't have to do that, but it's just an option. Now, we also want to go ahead and put the antenna on. And on coming off the uh, left side here on this green stinkway block, we're going to place down a dark uh, fence post. And we're going to take our um, iron bars. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron bars up, going like that for the uh, radio antenna. Once you guys have that done, we do have a little bit of space that we actually have to fill in that we should have done the previous layer, but I kind of missed that. So I do apologize. Now, along this space right here, we're going to place down a row three of green stain clay, which is just going to make this side a little bit thicker. And same thing over here, just like this. And also, uh, in between these rows right here, we're going to place down another three green stain clay blocks to make a second row of seven, like so. And then you have this two by uh, three space right here. In this space, we're just going to go ahead and place down uh, two rows of three of spruce wood planks. So you get something like that. And on the very center, two planks, we're just going to place down two stone buns like that. Now on the sides here for the vents and all that stuff, very simply, we're going to place down two stone pressure plates on the sides here. We're going to place down two rows of two of nether brick half sabs like that for the bigger vents. And then again, go to the smaller vents, we're going to place down two uh, stone pressure plates just like that on both sides. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the AMX uh, 50 Fock. Uh, a very uh, interesting take to say the least and uh, definitely a cool uh, addition. It's nice to get another French tank into the uh, mix and uh, it's really fun to uh, go ahead and build it. Again, a happy birthday to Amy McKay. Hopefully you do enjoy this uh, build and I'm glad I could actually get to it. Uh, luckily I had the uh, vehicle pretty much uh, designed. I just had to go ahead and you know modify and update it a little bit with my current kind of detail levels and stuff like that I do now. Um, so hopefully you do enjoy the build, Amy, and uh, happy birthday. And uh, hopefully everybody else, you guys enjoy the vehicle as well. If you guys do end up using this design, uh, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be anything from a sign of the build to my channel or this video if there's a brand new social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It uh, helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to, uh, you know, uh, feel inspired to continue to pro post this content. So please, if you guys are using this, uh, be sure to give me credit. As long as you guys give me credit, you guys are free to use it for whatever you guys want to uh, use it for. And... Um, yeah, just enjoy the build. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.